In Burundi, coffee remains the main foreign exchange earner for the country. The government says they're, they're more focused on quality than quantity. Moses Javier Imano reports. More than 80% of Burundian population are farmers. At least 600,000 families depends on coffee farming. The country's economy is predominantly agriculture, which accounts to over 30% of GDP and employs more than 90% of the population. Subsistence farming accounts for 90% of agriculture. Coffee remains the major cash crop for the country, earning more than 70% of the foreign exchange. Access to bank loans is one of the major challenges Burundi coffee growers face. For sure, I'm not even the one who planted them. This coffee plantation was planted by my parents. We are calling for the coffee price to be raised to at least 4 cents per kilogram manure. It's one of the challenging things we are facing to keep the land fertile. Burundi's primary export are coffee and tea, which account for 90% of foreign exchange earnings. Burundian coffee is mainly exported to Europe, Asia and United States of America. As Burundi's private sector and businesses were affected by the political crisis that erupted last year, coffee exporters say that the political crisis affected a little in the production and exportation of the product. We are working with uh, three cooperatives, which has many farmers. And we are also working with the individuals, individual farmers who are bringing straight to the station. We are only focusing on quality. This is the difference between other washing station and our washing station. Burundi has 170 coffee washing stations and eight dry mills with average harvest of 19,000 tons of coffee, 75% of the coffee farmers access the market directly without going through agents. Three million people of the estimated 10 million Burundi population benefit directly from coffee. Last year, we produced more than 18,000 tons of coffee, and that's why we are expecting the same volume this year, because the production seems the same. Coffee contributes a lot to the homes of Burundians, most especially in the regions where coffee is grown. It helps in many family projects. We don't segregate. Coffee brings all Burundians together without regarding the ethnicity. We were born finding our parents drinking coffee. They said it's like leisure for the elderly. Burundi exports 17,000 tons to the outside world of coffee, but only 1% is consumed locally, most especially in these kind of places called Buenzi in the local communities. Moses Javier Imana for Voice of America, Bujumbura.